it. Yeah. The Lorenz Tate one. What's that, Influence or something like that? Yeah, that actually looks like, I'm like, it's in a different vein than I'd expect the power people to go. But I was like, okay, that one, I'm I'm, I'm going to take a look at it. I'm gonna, I want to see uh, all of them. I want to see the Tommy one. Um, that one looked like that one going to be real good. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Yeah, that's the last one. And yeah, they don't talk about. Just went straight to California. Yeah, just I want to see what happens. Picked up. I was like, yeah, it'd be interesting. And um, yeah, the Tommy one looked like it's going to be serious. I feel like the Kane Tommy is one too. is going to. Tommy's. Gonna yeah, that's have, the one. Yeah, Ka- yeah. Ra- Raising Kane. Raising Kane yeah, is going to be. Bruh, good. that's that's the main one I want to see. I feel like Tommy's one is going to have the ghost of ghosts. Every episode, the, the, Ghost is not Your, dead. You can't do this without yeah. me. <laughs> like. Ghost, Ghost is not dead. When we when we talked about uh, State Prop the other day, <laughs> and you was mad about like how they brought him back in State Prop, State I was property like, Ghost, two. Ghost ain't dead. State Ghost property, gone. State Property Two has hands down. I love State Property One. State Property yeah. Two has the worst opening ever. Like, yeah. remember all that stuff in the first movie? Fuck ah, that movie. I was joking. Yeah, I was joking. I was like, a come dream. On, man. If I had a shot of the courtroom, that's what it would have looked like. Yeah. I said, that's how we ended the movie. That's how we was done. And State Property 2 was, I mean, State Property 1 was really good. Yeah, yeah. I like State yeah. Property 1. State Property 2 was just a, a money grab. Like, everybody was in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mariah Carey Mariah was Carey in it. Mariah Carey was in it. Really? Mariah Carey was in Mariah it. Mariah Carey. Dame Dash giving people their acting roles. Nori was in it out of nowhere. Is that how Mariah Carey got in Precious? Because Dame Dash was helping out your boy, but giving them the money. <sighs> Dame wow! Dash been now that you think out, about it, because he did help Lee Dame Daniels. Dame Dash owed them money. That's Dame what I'm saying. Genius, yeah, Dame, Dame Dash, Dash is Dame Dame Dash. a genius. No, yeah, nah, Dame Dash been funneling that. He been funding these people. Yeah, dog. I mean, since the the meteoric rise of Jay Z afterwards, people just forget. Like, like Dame did. They nothing. just wrote him off. They exactly. really did. They just wrote him off. Yeah. But they really tried to act like. Dame did nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I was like, "Yo, nothing." Yeah, nothing. I'm like, like yeah, I mean, there's a reason why we know, and like Jay Z for all his talent and everything, but the business of Rockefeller, that was huge. Yeah, that's real. huge at a time when you're like, "Yo, that like people wasn't doing that." It was a ro- Rockefeller and Rough Riders. Like yeah. it was like people don't really do business like this. Yeah, Rockefeller, Rough Riders, cash, cash money. money. Yeah, don't but, forget. But before that, it was just kind of like, "Oh, Master P." You you were an imprint. Like yeah. you're like, oh, I'm just a small part of the label. These dudes were like, Yeah, we're a small part of the label and then we're like, Yeah, we're kinda large enough to do whatever. We're we the label. Do. We're the label. Like if Definitely. we don't Pretty if we way. don't drop, y'all don't have a quarter. I mean, just think about going into like Def Jam at that time and you like, All right, so there's Rough Riders, there's Rockefeller, there's Murder Inc. Like yeah. everybody who's like making noise. Then you got like Oh shit! Like Ludacris is popping up. Like you're yeah, like, yeah, and then you got uh, so Meth, Red. Like, yeah, niggas had real groups, bruh. Yeah, man, whole bro. groups out, yeah. whole groups. They was whole coming labels. in. They was coming in the in the label, like that. Yeah, like Big Dog. Yeah, running like the a early two thousands, man. That was the time. That's when the labels really, really, really needed them. Yeah, that's what. That, that's yeah. what I say. I like yeah. people. The labels have money. The labels needed. Yeah, needed that because otherwise they just fall flat on their face. The labels that's need true. That. The, they the need that labels bag. needed us at the time. Mm-hmm. And labels, uh, I mean, it's like the history of America using a lot of young black and ugly as ever, <laughs> however I stay. I know you saw it. I saw Houston it. down I saw to it. my socks. <laughs> Once again, it's Avery like a very nice guy. I'm back with another, in my humble opinion, podcast. Yay! Avery like a very nice guy, also known as Carlton Bakes. Carlton with a KBA and triple X. Carlton with a K B A N X X X. Also, we have my co host over here, one of the greatest writers I've ever met in my entire life. Only. Also, shut up. I prove it every week. Known as my brother, Just Devon. Just Devon. Boom. J U S T D E. No, I'm not spelling my name. You y'all a, know how to. Y'all you know how to. You <laughs> a bitch ass nigga. I can't believe this. How ass man. Oh, man. You sound good too. Making yeah. fun of you. Yeah, I did. I was like, yeah. <laughs> trying. You can't be like the original. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga made a mistake. <laughs> Speaking of mistakes, I have a young man that made a mistake before, yeah, but he's sha- he's uh, actually changed his life. Today we have a young man who knows something about redemption. A man who was wrongfully wrongfully accused of a crime and spent time locked up, but made do with his time pursuing his life goal and pushing his life forward also with that once he got out he was able to do a lot of things be a rapper entrepreneur and also i mean 
Of course, philanthropists give back with his association with Paul Wall and Slim Thug. One of the things he was doing was able to provide countless school supplies for the youth mm-hmm. dim. Also, <laughs> the youths <laughs> dim. Uh, he shared the stage with your favorites like Young Thug, Kevin Gates, French Montana, Trina, Two Chains, Bun B, Ti, Future, Kid Ink, Tory Lanez. Am I am I going too on, too man. long? No, Slim right Thug, right <laughs> Kurt right. Cobain, just to name a few. One of uh, he's rubbed shoulders with one of the greats in our city, James Prince Jr. The man that I, I like your Twitter. You funny on Twitter. People need to follow you on Twitter. Man, uh, really do for yeah, you funny as shit. On I was looking at your Twitter. Think you said uh, like a, uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. You said uh, what is that? Um, you said uh, fake friends are like four quarters. They change for a dollar. Sweet, bars. Man. Okay, I like real that. Uh, I like one of your bars too. You say uh, talking about all real niggas dead. Bitch, I'm here and alive. I, I yeah, that was I, I like that. Right here. Yes. And the faces thing. The rappers in the faces. Oh yeah, golly, that's hilarious. Th- this nigga here, the rappers in the faces on the album cover. They gotta stop yeah. that when they do the two albums. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I I like that. I retweeted Face that. Too. Yeah, they I was like, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> they gotta stop that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't yeah. like that at all. Okay. Also, he won't stop till we all rich. All right. He is the man. He's a gorilla, and you niggas is chimps. Okay. He <laughs> <laughs> call you bathing apes. <laughs> Would you say first name Busto, last name Suave? Yes, sir. Call him Jada Great, ladies and gentlemen. Jada Great. Jada Yay. Great. Yay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? I'm great. That's awesome, man. Great, bro. I want to thank you for showing up. I want to thank you for coming in. I want to thank you for being me. here, man. Like, we appreciate you reaching out, yeah. too. Like, yeah. I like the fact that, like, I, we were surprised that you reached out because I was like, Jada Great has a, has a decent following yeah. and everything. I was like, man, yeah, hey, man. We're not really that. Hey man, yeah, we just coming thing, up, man. Yeah, it's nah, we personality like, in here, man. Nah, I like we, we like to see it. Now we gonna go back like the like we normally do on this. We want to go all the way back to the beginning Let's and then it. just trace your story up. Origins, so yes, the origin. Let's go to the origin story. So, what's the origin of Jada Great? What part of the city are you from? I'm from the Southwest. All right, so you're from the Southwest, mm-hmm. and then uh, you're coming up. Like, at what point are you deciding that you want? What age we like to get this from? Our, well, like, what age are you deciding you want to rap? Man, six. I knew what I wanted to do, man, at a younger age. Yeah. So you it just was knew. weird. It was weird, bro. It was very weird. Um, I was riding with my old man, um, probably like, by, I was six, and um, he was listening to Snoop. Okay. Mm-hmm. I always been in the cartoons, you know, because you remember, like back then. Yeah. That cable shit was dead. Like you had to get up in the morning to catch and a catch a cartoon yeah. on a you Saturday. Kid, so it yeah, made yeah. it special. Ex- oh, it made bruh. it more special. See yeah. now you could just go Netflix. You can yeah. watch it twenty four hours. A day. YouTube, <laughs> it's on your yeah. phone. Everything, Kids can catch man. a cartoon exactly. or whatever. Yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying so. I was like real, real infatuated with cartoons because of how special it was. You had to work to watch it. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, long story short, I'm riding with my pops. I'm hearing something. It's Snoop. This is why he my favorite rapper because he the one that introduced me basically mm-hmm. to want to rap. Okay. Um, and I see this cassette player with a, it was a doggy style, so I'm like, what's this? Mm. I want to watch it. And I thought I could watch it. He was like, no, nah, this is because doggy you, style got all yeah, the, co- the cartoon, cartoon, cartoon cover. Yeah. Oh, okay. So crazy. So when nice. I was like, you know, uh, I want to watch this. He was like, you listening to it? And voila, they go to the introduction <laughs> to rap. So simple. <laughs> like, damn, shit, I want to rap. So you can, you can, because, you know, Snoop, the doggy style, that nigga was. Yeah, he was vulgar. going off. Oh, yeah. Was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, so you can fuck with cartoons and still be that nigga? Yeah. Like, still be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it was just, it just, it was like a merge, like right there, right then and I was like, this is what I want to do. Oh, okay. That was a Simple. super adult cartoon. That yeah. was like, cover. You was listening to Doggy Style at six. Six got you in early. Okay, I mean, goodness. So six, my mama wouldn't let me listen to that at six. <laughs> oh, my His mama wouldn't let him listen to it. Yeah. No. Oh, and you know that's another thing. So that's what made rap so precious to me because I felt like I had to sneak out to get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Just like you know, what I'm saying like yeah. I had to sneak. I had to earn listening to it. Because, I understand. Uh, my pops went to the feds uh, right after that. And I, I hadn't seen him for, uh, yeah. But the, this is the trick to that is, I didn't even know. He just disappeared. My mom, I was, I got a bunch of ups and downs with my mom, but my mom never told me that he went to the feds. I just learned that my what? pops went to the feds. Uh, I'm 30 right now. Yeah. I just learned my pops went to the feds like three years ago. Really? What did I, she tell you at first? Just. She didn't tell me shit. 
<laughs> just see that. Like, man, with my pops. You know what I'm saying? Then I see a new nigga. You know how it go. You know? I know. Oh, okay. We see okay. it's it's just it's a uh, it's just the same world, you know, yeah. but it's it's different in the eyes of a kid. You yeah. gotta get older to start putting pieces together. That's I had true. to get older to be like, damn. So this is what it was. Basically, like this somebody, baby mama, here come a new nigga. Yeah. I'm so confused though, you know, I'm just looking at it like naive in a way, like, where my pops? Who this nigga? <laughs> yeah. Well, then, wait. You said you just found out three years ago. How'd you find out? My dad. So he, I mean, did he? Uh, he reached out to you. I mean, how yeah, does that? Yeah, man. But okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Back then, you know, we had social media. So to find somebody, you had to go through the phone books. Yeah. My mom got a very common name. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. You gonna have to go through a million other. Yeah. Let me just. Britney Williams, that ain't her name, but I'm just saying. That's, yeah, it's yeah. a million and one Britney Williams in Houston. That's true. So nigga had to go and call all the Britney Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And, and, and my mom moved a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about a lot of like people, natives like on the Southwest, because it was so many apartments, everybody was moving. Yeah. Niggas wasn't like really like staying in one place on the Southwest. North side different because it's houses. Yeah. But Southwest. With the apartments, you just moving around. Just, okay. You know, lease up. Yeah. Let's, let's try to upgrade. It was all about upgrade on the Southwest. So. Yeah. Okay. So I know a million people, bro. But, like, you know, my life was crazy. I was moving around all the time. It's a lot of shit I didn't understand until I got older. Hmm. So when your dad reached out, I mean, he found you via social media. Okay, so back back to that. Yeah, so um, so my pops was always, he was, I never had any tainted images of my dad. So that's what kind of made it easy for me to not grow up like, man, fuck that nigga. You know, like, we grew yeah. up like. Well, I grew up, it was rough. Mm-hmm. Like, all my partners around me was like, fuck that nigga. If I see him, I never had that. Because okay. of, from from baby to six, it was great. You were cool. Yeah, so. So in your eyes, your dad just kind of disappeared and nobody talked about it. But it wasn't like, yo, my dad left me. In my eyes, it was like, what the fuck happened? Okay. It's something that, I, that I'm not hearing. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So when I got older, um, my dad... You know, he started reaching out when I was like 18, 19. At that point, I was in the streets. I wasn't denying meeting up with him, but it wasn't so much of a, I have to do this. Yeah. Like, I ain't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Like, hey, what's, what's up, bro? What's up? You know what I'm saying? What's up? I still call him dad. Like, nigga, like, you know, I never lost the, my dad pops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I still That's call solid. him that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to give him that because of shit. You know, without him, there's no me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like, I'm not going to call my mom by her name. I'm going to call her mom. Yeah. Regardless of whatever the fuck we got going on. Okay. But he reached out when I was like 18, 19. Nothing happened. I'm in and out of jail and shit like that. And then um, my last time I went in, I went to prison for five years. I had a 10-year sentence. When I got out from that, that prison shit, it kind of like woke me up. It made me kind of like carry myself different with my thoughts and like everything. So when mm. I got out, I was more willing to, all right, let's chop it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's and then you're like, now. okay, now I'm open to actually meeting. Yeah. And let's like let's do this. What, what's what going on? Because yeah. I got a lot of unanswered questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, like a million. I got like three books of questions I need answered. Yeah. So now that I've been around my mom, I already know her side of the story. Uh huh. You know, because I've been getting her side of the story my whole life. What's your side? Yeah. Now it's I'm I'm gonna be the person to decide. Who tells Who's, the truth? You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Right. That, that's At actually mature. There's there's <laughs> yeah. three sides to every mature. story. Yeah, yeah and man. yeah, that's real. So, so it, it 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 came to that, and you know now we good. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's reversed though now. Now it's me and my pops, and I ain't on fucking my mom like that. Ah, uh, uh, so that's all I'm about to say. So yeah, how does that? Yeah, how does that affect the relationship? Learning about all this new stuff mm-hmm. now. It affected it, man. Huh? It affected it, and um, that's why I'm so big on on parenting. Yeah, I'm big. So um, I heard we was talking about the Debbie Dad. So the reason why I called the song Debbie Dad because I know that it'll bring awareness to a lot of chicks. They always talk about niggas not raising their kids. Yeah, this, that, and the other. Actually, well, while There's you're talking no about it, we're why. gonna pull up Debbie Dad yeah. so uh, we can actually play that for the audience. But yeah, what I'm let, let's talk about what inspired that. Uh, it was uh, just being away from my kids. So I got three kids, two boys and a girl. All right, my son, my first son, I raised him. I've been in his life, he'll be, he'll be five in May. My other two kids, they just came out of nowhere. Their moms is in their own world. Um, they see how much I love my first kid, so it's a problem because, first of all, we distant. 
my first kid stays here. Mm -hmm. The other two kids, they like five hours away. Okay. So they want me to go like <clears throat> jump over hurdles and all these things, you know what I mean, to be there. And I be trying to break shit down to them, like, come here, it's easier like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want them to grow up together, but when you got three different baby mamas, that shit is like practically impossible. Okay. Unless you already like a millionaire. Yeah. You can, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boom, I pay for this. I fly for over there, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I ain't, I'm not there yet, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, but that's my, my plan. Okay. So, uh,